Alright, so welcome back to Pokemon Go and today will be very special because I want to do something that I have been waiting for for a very long time. So if I go ahead and search for my Registeel over here, yes, I do have a shiny Perfect IV Registeel which I already best buddied it. This is not any Shundo Registeel over here, no, no, no. This is actually pretty special because this is my very first and only Registeel that I have ever seen in Pokemon Go and the only one I ever caught. As you can see over there, seen one and caught one. I don't know how anybody can get any luckier than this, this is absolutely insane. My very first Registeel was a perfect IV shiny one and I already made a video about this Pokemon in specific. I played with it on the Great League and uh, it is absolutely incredible, fantastic Pokemon. Today I want to finally Power it up to Ultra League status and it will require 30 Candy XL. Now you might be asking how do I have Registeel Candy XL if I only did one single raid for it? Like that should be pretty much impossible, but no, I used Rare Candy XL that I have been getting for the past, I know, a couple of months and I finally have enough. So this will get all the way up to 2493 combat power and there it is. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting for this moment for such a long time. Now let's go ahead and play on the Ultra League and let's see if we can get the perfect set. Also, we are going to be using this male jelly scent, which was uh, caught in a research breakthrough in 2021. It is currently at 1470 and this will cost me quite a lot to get it to Ultra League status, but I think it is absolutely worth it. So yeah, there it is, 326,000 Stardust, 230 Candy and 118 Candy XL, but uh, just like the Registeel, I wanted to get this thing to Ultra League, so let's finally do it. Alright, so there it is, man, I spent so much Stardust in just a couple of minutes, that is absolutely crazy. Alright, so here we go, let's choose Ultra League. And I will be using a 98% Lucky Talonflame, it's the best one I've got for Ultra League, uh, the perfect Registeel and the perfect Mel Jelly Scent. So here we go, we found our first opponent, I have Tal Talonflame in front and we find a Dialga, so I couldn't ask for better. So let's go ahead and let's go straight away for the Flame Charge because uh, this will boost my attack every time I use it and uh, Dialga is weak against fire type, so there it is, it does quite a lot of damage. They decide to let it uh, go, they don't defend, but I'm going to defend mine because, check it out, they actually have thunder in their Dialga, so that surprised me, but even if it was an iron head, I want to keep my Talon Flame with a lot of health. So here comes Palkia next, and uh, this one I have to be more careful because it is a water type and also dragon, so I'm going to use a flame charge and hopefully I can reach a brave bird and get out of here. So uh, I'm lucky enough to get to the brave bird. If they let it go, I'm going to absolutely destroy the Palkia, but they actually decide to use their first shield, which is a great idea. So I go ahead and uh, change into my jelly scent. So I have a better match against the Palkia. So they have hydro pump. I'm pretty sure they don't have like a second char move. Uh, on either their Dialga or, or Palkia, uh, so yeah, this was pretty easy, uh, this is also rank 1 and 2, so it's not that difficult, but I take out the Palkia and uh, here comes a Flareon, which was pretty fun to see, uh, so yeah, unfortunately the shiny Flareon the, can't do much against the Jelly Scent, this is a very bulky Pokemon, just like Registeel, and um, yeah, I'll let uh, uh, the Flareon use the superpower and take out the Jelly Scent because I want to finish the first game with my Registeel <laughs> just to flex a little bit. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was the very first battle and uh, we could claim some Stardust but now let's go ahead and move on to the second battle over here. Also the video is on 1.25 speed so it's a, a tiny bit faster for the video. And uh, now here we go, we have uh, Talonflame against the Vaporeon. This is not very good, but uh, um, there's no fear because I can switch into my safe swap, which is Registeel. 
and uh, I have here the Zap Cannon, which does a ton of damage. Absolutely worth giving Registeel this uh, super good attack. You have to use an Elite Charge TM, but it is absolutely worth it. So uh, they let it go, and I almost take out the, uh, the Vaporeon, not the Flareon. And uh, I'm thinking if I should just lock on uh, completely, but I decide to use a Focus Blast so I don't take more damage in case they reach another charge attack. So uh, there it is. Focus Blast down the Vaporeon, it goes down. They still have two shields. Uh, then they have here a Jolteon, which is not very good for me actually, because I just noticed that my team is very weak against electric types because of the Jealous Hand and the Talonflame. So I decide to switch into the Talonflame to uh, get hit by a single Discharge and then I'm going to take it out with the Jealous Hand, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, Talonflame on Ultra League can um, take at least one uh, Discharge from the Jolteon, but it did go down unfortunately and I did not do much against it. But now here comes the Jail Scent. I have to take it out with this thing because my Registeel is pretty much dead. So I'm going to go straight away for a Surf because it's a bit faster than using a Shadow Ball. And uh, they know that things are not looking very good for me. So they start shielding their Jolting and I have to shield my Jail Scent or else I'm going to lose this model if I don't do it. And uh, now we have no more shields left and I go for a Shadow Ball just to guarantee that I take the Jolteon out of the game. Uh, I cannot uh, take the chances in case it hits me with another Discharge. And uh, check it out, another player with a Flareon. This opponent over here was using the Evolutions. So yeah, that is actually pretty cool to see. But uh, yeah, this was actually the battle that I thought I might lose this one, but uh, fortunately they only hit me with the flamethrower and it is not very effective because I'm a water type and I managed to get to a surf and uh, yeah, I managed to take out their last Pokemon, but this was very close, more than I was expecting to be, honestly, especially against like evolutions, but uh, yeah, they played pretty well with those Pokemon, so good job to my opponent. So that was our second win. And now let's see if we can find our third battle over here. So it is starting and this one has a rank 3. Alright, so here we go. It is Talonflame against a Charizard. Always nice to see a Charizard. And uh, yeah, let's see. They are using uh, Dragon Breath. So that does quite a lot of damage. Um, but I think the best uh, fast move for Charizard is actually Wing Attack. But anyways. So I'm going to go straight away for a Brave Bird, because if it lands it would have done a lot of damage. Uh, and I decide to switch into my Registeel. Uh, I'm not scared if they have like Blast Burn or anything like that, because I know that I can live at least one of them. Uh, but they decide to go for a bait for Dragon Claw, and um, I called it, so I decide not to shield. And I'm going straight away for the Zap Cannon, this will do massive damage, and they let it go. It completely takes out the Charizard. This is such a powerful move. And then, check it out, they bring a Palkia, the second one we see in this uh, set of battles. So, just like I did with the Charizard, here comes the Zap Cannon, and uh, they actually decide to shield their Palkia. So, I guess, good on them, but I don't think that Palkia will uh, be alive for long, because I'm getting to a second Zap Cannon very quickly and uh, here it comes so let's see can the palky survive a zap cannon from a perfect registeel and it cannot it goes down straight away and their final pokemon is a roserade uh, which uh, might do pretty well against the jail scent but even if my registeel uh, dies i have the town flame in the back so yeah, I'm not worried whatsoever. I hit it with a zap can, it does massive damage. Even uh, that Roserade resists zap cannon, like it just does so much. And I managed to reach a focus blast and Registeel completely destroys the opponent's team. Took out the Charizard, took out the Palkia, and finally took out the Roserade that was waiting in the back. Like, it was absolutely worth it. To power up this Registeel for the Ultra League. It does really good on the Great League, but like, if you have 
a really good one, then I think it's a good idea if you have one for Ultra League as well. So now it is our fourth battle. We have Tonflame against Obstagon. This thing could be a bit tricky to take out because um, it has Obstruct, which is its community day move. Uh, it also can learn Cross Chop and um, Nice Slice, I'm pretty sure. So this one is starting with an Obstruct to lower my defense. So that is all good. I'm going to go for a Flame Charge to increase my attack. And they are actually using Lick, which was something that I was not aware of. I'm, I don't think I have ever seen an Obstagon using Lick on the Ultra League. So I think this might be my first. And I'm going to do a mistake later on because of that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to shield in case it was like a nice last, but this one is using a uh, leak obstruct and um, uh, cross chop. So yeah, they decide to bail out for some reason into their Vaporeon, which was a huge mistake. I'm going to use a Brave Bird and uh, it takes out their Vaporeon, so we don't need to worry about that. And here's my mistake, so now I bring my Jail Sand to go against the Obstagon and now I notice that that thing is doing super effective damage against my Gel Sand. Uh, I thought it was using like counter and uh, yeah, I was wrong. So I'm taking more damage than I should be. Uh, so I should have brought maybe, all, uh, no, <laughs> Registeel. Uh, it would have done a lot better than Gel Sand over here. And uh, yeah, but anyways, let's see what we can do against this Obstagon. It used an Obstruct and now it's it's using the cross chop, which does absolutely nothing against the jelly sand. So I'm going to just continue spamming surfs, and they bail out once again with their obstagon, and they switch into a snorlax, which is really awesome. Uh, so I'm going to use a surf, and I believe I'm going to switch into my registeel. So here it comes to finish off this battle over here. Uh, so they are going to use a body slam, if I'm not mistaken. So I decide not to shield, and uh, uh, I'm actually going to shield the next one because I don't want to get hit with a superpower. So I was pretty scared over here in case they were going to use superpower, so I shield, but they actually just used body slam. So I'm not sure if they only had body slam or they, they just didn't know what to use, but anyways, focus blast in the face of that Snorlax. It takes it out. This thing is super, super powerful, the Registeel. And uh, I believe I managed to lock on down the Obstagon, they still managed to reach another charge move, I believe it is a cross chop. Uh, so they are fighting the good fight, but unfortunately for them, the Registeel manages to win another battle. So that is our fourth match over here, and uh, this Registeel is just uh, incredible, honestly. Uh, super happy to have it on my team, and it's definitely one of those Pokemon that I pretend to use in more of my battles in the future. But now let's go and play the final match of this set, which is Talonflame against a Sock, which was pretty surprising to see, but uh, maybe not that surprising, like they are rank 1 and 2 and stuff like that, so we tend to see some of these um, more strange Pokemon in these lower rankings. So they switch their Sock into their uh, Gyarados, so I go for a Brave Bird to take out their shield or do massive damage, they decide to shield. And uh, I bring my Registeel to counter the Gyarados because I can resist every move they have. And I have here the Zap Cannon. I don't need to say anything else about the Zap Cannon. I think I made my point across. This thing is just incredible for pretty much everything. So yeah, uh, Zap Cannon uh, gets shielded, but I reduce their attack. So that is great. They go for another Crunch, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there it is. Uh, fortunately, I don't get my... Uh, a debuff on my Registeel, so I'm going for another Zap Cannon and this should be more than enough to take out the Gyarados because it is double weak against Electric, uh, it is flying in water, so yeah, not too much problem taking it out. So they bring back Sock, which was a pretty good idea, but uh, they are using Body Slam for whatever reason, I thought that thing would have like at least one charge move of fighting, a fighting charge move, but I guess not. Maybe they didn't have another charge move on that thing, I don't know. But I take it out with the Zap Cannon and their last Pokemon is a Chandelure. Uh, so I switch into my Talonflame. I did not even notice it was a Chandelure, I switched straight away. So I could like keep my Registeel alive. And uh, they throw a Shadow Ball and I'm going straight away for a Brave Bird. And uh, yeah, Brave Bird 
on a neutral league, Talfan just takes out the Chandler. So yeah, there it is. That was uh, my very first set uh, on the Ultra League with my shiny Perfect Heavy Registeel uh, 2500 CP or close to that. As you can see, I won every single one of them. We get some Stardust, some Charged TMs, and uh, an encounter with an Extra Drill, which is pretty nice. So yeah, that is pretty much it, everybody. This was really fun to play with my Registeel and the Jelly Scent on Ultra League. We won our first set, a perfect set. Yeah, so uh, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.